And now for the Monero development segment. Hello, hello. DJ, Hi. What's How going on, you? man? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm on the East Coast, so I'm dealing with all the smoke. Oh, you're, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're on the East it's Coast. It's finally yeah. cleared up I know, over finally, here. Yeah, yeah, Wednesday, it was crazy. Wednesday? Yeah, I saw it on Twitter. I was like, this is what a time to be alive. Yeah. yeah, we had the orange sky, yeah, it was like an in the middle orange of the day. Sky. I know. I was just like, "Wow, this orange is- for Monero." I guess you know this is good for Monero for her. There you go. About to be a Bitcoin Mackey approach. This is somehow know, good for Monero. Like a bat signal, which is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope y'all are okay wearing your mask and everything. I haven't been again outside as much as I should, which is sad, but it is what it is. It is what it is, but it's clearing out. So it's much yeah, we'll be today. outside yeah. today. I'm, re- yeah. I'm ready to exercise outside again. Yeah. Looks looks decent enough. Yeah, it looks yeah, yeah, it looks better, much better. But yeah, take but it yeah. away. My um, today I'm gonna take a I guess something that isn't I guess as technical or at, or at the base layer as much. Today I'm gonna cover the Monero subscriptions wallet by Luke Profits, and just um I guess as a fellow Monero entrepreneur, I have a soft spot for people who like try to build things. Because building things in this space is incredibly difficult, <laughs> especially if, if you're trying to be honest and straightforward, you know, not VC funded, not do like have your own coin, do all this type of like ICO type things. Building your own business is incredibly hard. So I want to cover today something that is development related, but something that's a little more, you know, at the application layer. So today we're going to talk about the Monero subscriptions wallet and just a brief um, TLDR, I guess, brief summary is that this wallet essentially allows you to do reoccurring payments with Monero. And all you have to do as a person who wants to spend somewhere is um, put this wallet file, download the file, put it in your directory and let it run. It's cold and it runs Python. So I'm super excited about, about this and let's get, let's get into it. Um, first question, why does this exist? Because um, as you know, uh, Monero doesn't have easy smart contracts. If you're good at cryptography, right, if you're someone like um, Luke, you know, if you're at the Monero talk, you can build your own smart contract and do all the things you want to do in Monero. But for mere mortals like us, uh, Monero doesn't have easy to use smart contracts. So this means that subscriptions are hard to do, right? If it was like Ethereum, you could just throw a smart contract and have it send money every hour, every day, every week, et cetera, et cetera. But Monero is focused on privacy. So it doesn't support easy, easy to use contracts like that. But I think it's a good thing. I think you should be focused on one thing. We've seen millions of hacks that have happened because due to smart contracts, bad engineering, bad design, et cetera, et cetera. So I think this is a good thing. But what this means, though, that you have to push a lot of that um, those features to the application layer. So this is one of those application layers that we're at right now. And this is really cool to see because look at this. This has 241 upvotes on monero subreddit when it was announced right this is even the finished product at this point this is just hey i'm gonna build this decentralized monero subscription wallet and community is really excited about it. 241 is i i can't think of another like post for an application that got higher than that but maybe there is but this is really good if monero community really wants something like this because monero is all about peer-to-peer cash transactions and do 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 and actually, so um, Luke Profit is a guy behind it. Spent a lot of time working with different people. I believe Tuxedo is hosting the code, actually. I believe. Okay. No, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Hosting like the website for it or the like the front end GUI website for it. It codes on GitHub, but they're hosting the like the website for it. I'm going to show you in a little bit. And basically, the um, Luke has done it really well. It's written in Python and it, it interacts with the Monero official wallet in a way. Well, all you literally have to do is have your official Monero wallet running. And it doesn't have to be running 24-7. You can, like, leave it, open this wallet once a week, and it'll go and pay your um, the appropriate subscriptions for you. And Luke is still working on it, but this software is live today. You can use it. I don't know any um, people accepting it right now. Like, um, but you don't – I don't – I'm not sure if you need the actual vendor to accept it. They just need to be able to, like, hey, I, I, need, to, I need to have 10 or, let's say – one XMR is sent to me every month for me to run this service, and I give you the address to go through. So this is, yeah, really huge, really good, cool thing. So I'm super excited about it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the use cases are amazing, right? Yeah, yeah, this is really cool. Shout out to Luke. And then, 
And like I said, there's easy setup. I think Tuxedo, this is the code that Tuxedo is hosting. I'm not too sure, but this is a code. It's basically a GUI that literally lets you create a subscription code easily. You, you can pick when, when you want the money sent to you. Let's say, for example, Doug wanted to have a subscription for Monero Noto. I'm sure you won't, you don't do this, but let's say you wanted to have a, a dollar subscription for added features every month. Right now, there's not like a Patreon, it's like an easy way to do this because like credit cards is pretty easy to do right with Stripe. But this will allow Doug, for example, to post a code generator and be like, hey, um, I, I need to have this amount of Monero sent to me every week. And you could post this code and have it running. And it'd be pretty easy to do. So it's really good step forward for Monero, especially for use cases. You can imagine in many ways you could use this for Patreon, reoccurring payments, subscription services, a- anything you want to pay with reoccurring. This is a really cool way to do that. And for shoppers, once again, it's pretty straightforward, especially I don't know if there's a GUI for it right now. I could be mistaken, but there I didn't find a GUI on the GitHub. But if, if you want to just, um, set up as a shopper, you would simply download this repo. I can link to it later. Drop the folders in the appropriate place on your computer next to the official Monero wallet. Click run and it, and it runs. And I believe it doesn't have to be running 24-7. You could open it up once a week, right? And it would go through and check for subscriptions and pay out accordingly, which is really cool stuff. All this is built in the open, I must remind you, which is really cool. And Luke has been stellar in communicating with the, with the community. Like I said, it got 200 and something votes on Reddit for the announcement, which is like, Really cool to see. So a lot of people obviously want this and are super excited about this. So it's just really cool tech that we see. And once again, this operates at the application layer. This is not something you would want to have in the Monero official wallet, like officially, right? Because something might be wrong with it. Might be bugs. You want to keep that Monero wallet attack service as small as you as you possibly can. So this is something that operates at the application layer, which I think is the correct way for building something like that versus where Ethereum has everything baked in to sort of one layer-ish. Once again, this is at the application layer, and it's really cool. Monero reoccurring payments is awesome stuff. And once again, starting a Monero business is really hard, so we should give Luke all the support. So I have a soft spot for people who do that. And Luke Profits is working on other stuff, too. They post regularly on Reddit, and I believe they're working on a Monero business wallet, sort of like that focuses on Monero business owners, allows you to instant transfer to cold storage. You could accept Monero pretty easily and all the different things like that. This is just an idea I saw on Reddit, so don't take it as like, you know, end all be all. It's something else that Luke Prov is working on. I think these type of things, which are promoting Monero usage, are just as important as the stuff that Monero devs do, obviously, right? Because Monero devs are amazing. They do great development work. But if there's not anyone using it at the application layer, making it easy for merchants and things like that to use it, right, Monero adoption will be much harder and slower than it actually should be. So I think projects like this allow Monero to get a lot more attention a lot more easy to use also, which is great for Monero adoption, which we need. It should be easy to use Monero. You shouldn't have to be a coder to run your own shop. Everyone should have access to free, not free, free as in like freedom, freedom money that's uncensorable and private. Everyone should have access to that. And I think the projects like this make that super easy to do. So if you want to follow Luke Profits, they have, they're have they pretty active on social media. You should be subscribed to Monero subreddit. That's where you get like the hot new news. <laughs> and I think that's pretty much it for today. So do we have? Sorry, I was slightly distracted over here because mm-hmm. we spilled some coffee. Um, so do we? Do we have any examples of anybody that's using this yet? This subscription? Uh, I I wasn't able to find any on the GitHub, and I know Luke, if you're out there, please come on the show. We we want to talk yeah, to you. Want to yeah, promote? Yeah. Please. <laughs> so I, I had to go scour and find things, and I wasn't able to find like a shop that was actually officially using it. But we, we might not know about it. it. It could just like anyone could use it, so it might it might not be public yet. And it seems to so be like a lot of attention. Wanted, if I wanted to get this going, let's say for like coffee, right? Coffee subscription. Yeah. People mm-hmm. can pay whatever ten dollars, whatever it is, fifteen bucks a month for coffee delivered. Um, we're saying it's so what what is the current set what would the current setup look like? What um you would yeah, from my understanding from reading the documents and playing around a little bit, you would simply go back here. So you would generate this code right here. And that's all that you would do as a person accepting payments, right? Of course, you would need like a wallet, but you would generate this code. And this is where you configure all the stuff. You, you can select when you want to pay it, what's the wallet name, the billing cycle, the date, all that stuff here. And, the, and, you, would, and you would generate this. It will create like a text and you would give that to the person shopping. And they mm-hmm. would simply download this, um, download the Monero CLI wallet. 
and download this GitHub repo also and drop the files in. So if, I believe if you can drop files and click on things, that's all it takes. And, and they would need to run their wallet every every once a month, and then they will automatically do all this. It doesn't have to be, even be running 24 7. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't, I and, think uh, Lucas, yeah. hmm? The idea is eventually we'd see this built into other like Manaruju and Cake yes. and all those things, right? Yes, yes. Any, anyone that wants this will build it in. I think the the devs, which I, I support, don't want it in Monero CLI, right? Because you, you want to make that as small and tight as you want to to mm -hmm. prevent like attacks and hacks. But I think a lot of people, Luke was talking about building his own wallet for Monero shoppers. So where okay. this will be used, I'm not too sure, but that's definitely a possibility. And someone will use this. Right as Monero grows, as the economy grows, people will want reoccurring subscription payments. So someone might use this code, or but this idea, core idea, is going to be successful one day eventually. Very which cool, is really man. cool to see. Yeah, yeah, very cool. I mean, and also, Luke, bit, yeah, it's Sorry. a little <laughs> different that you know, because obviously, like with, with the with the credit card, it's easy to set up a reoccurring payment, right? Uh, mm -hmm. But this, you're asking the customer to use a specific application and wallet for the purpose of setting up uh, reoccurring payments, right? Yeah, because it, 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 that's the one downside of having it at the application layer. Yeah. Is that you, the user, it's just like how Bitcoin tries to do privacy at the application layer is not as good, right? Because there's an application layer is not built in. So that's the one downside of this, honestly. But it'd be pretty easy. If, like, I think Cake Wallet's pretty good. Imagine if Cake Wallet, they, they adopt stuff like, Breakneck speed. I know they got Trocador app. Yeah, like, yeah. If, if some yeah, of the major like, wallets adopt it and it gets built into there, then the, yeah, that yeah, would be it's like it'll be like scan a QR code and pay for Doug's coffee. Yeah. Scan it, boom. Open your wallet once a month. It sends it, and you're good to go. Very cool, man. Very cool. Awesome. But yeah. Good topic. And Luke, please uh, come on the show. I please. <laughs> I want to talk to you about it and he, he, hear you talk about it, not me. Sort of have to like do investigative journalism to see what's going on with it. Please come on the show. Promote your work. You're doing good work. And I was say thank you a lot. <laughs> yeah, let's definitely get him on. Digun, great work as always. Mm -hmm. uh, Luke, if you're listening, please, yeah, please reach out. Or what's his what's his handle? Uh, it depends on the platform. I think I have the the link tree. You want the Twitter? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, what is his Twitter? Uh, mm -hmm. I gotta go find so it. Do, do, do. I know. Um, I asked Tuxedo because Tuxedo talks to him. Like Tuxedo actually runs. The, okay, yeah, like so the I'll website. Talk to, talk to Tuxedo and we'll try to yeah, get Yeah, he's up. PC Changer P on Twitter, but he has a bunch. I think his Reddit is let me see his Reddit. Uh do, do, do. his Reddit handle is Luke, literally Luke Profits on Reddit. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, man. But yeah. Also, I'm excited to hear about Monero Nona. You were talking about that. That was live, right? What do you mean live? What but what? Like the crowd is here you're talking about the Monero thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I didn't want to be exposing. <laughs> I was like, wait, that that was live, right? No, no, I was just uh just promoting it, letting people know um if they now if they want to help uh pre-purchase one. You know, we're just trying to drum up more sales to keep it going. But yeah, I'm uh, super excited about it. It it will it be ready for MoneroCon? I don't think oh. it's gonna be ready for MoneroCon. I think uh I think we might be pushing it a little too hard there yeah. and uh i don't think it's gonna be ready for marathon to be honest if you have um, any questions but we're gonna we're gonna have abdullah come on hopefully maybe next week and he can give us the rundown wait yeah. on the show yeah we'll have him come on on the show um oh, i'm can, so excited talk about it we could ask any questions people have but yeah, I don't think we're gonna have them ready. We're not gonna be ready for Monero. I don't think so. No, I think so. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense. Hardware is super hard, Doug. You are a very bold person for doing hardware development because the one thing they tell you when you like start a business is like don't do hardware <laughs> 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 well i mean my hope was to you know get get an initial iteration going and then we perfect it as we go but uh, mm -hmm. well i mean it, it appears he's been doing a great job it's like the we i think i told you we, we've had others from like the bitcoin community to reach out to us mm -hmm. that want that want to use the hardware that we put together they, they love the specs so uh abdul is doing something right um and I, I've spoken to the manufacturer directly. Very cool guy. He's he's all about. He's not like. He doesn't seem like he's in the business of trying to maximize profit. He's just mm. he's just a nerd. Like the heart, the the provider of the of the chips himself. That's getting getting them from China. Um, maybe we'll try to have him on too with Abdullah. I think so, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
he's very cool guy uh he's kind of got like old school cypherpunk vibes i don't know how how abdullah found him um but that's kind of the key right like sourcing the sourcing mm-hmm. the material um but yeah we've we've definitely hit some bumps in the road with uh people that were helping us out with developing the uh the user interface uh but we're we're overcoming those bumps it's just you know additional costs right uh mm. it's, is it is it a web application uh yeah there's gonna there's gonna be there's gonna be a web app um and then just the user interface on the on the noto itself mm. or the actual display um so we ran into some issues with people that somebody that was doing one aspect of that so we had to have somebody else kind of clean up the mistakes he made uh, but we'll have abdullah come on yeah it's all all full speed ahead just i don't <laughs> think we're going to be ready by we're going to not ha- we're not going to have a f- a physical prototype for Monero Con yet. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, if it was easy, we, we already have it by now. But there's a reason we yeah. don't because it's, yeah. it's like very difficult. Also, I would love to see like um, Abdul talk about like I feel like people like don't appreciate how how hard it is to make a product and launch it and specifically. And I know you're being very gracious, like it'd be like not trying to make like you know an insane profit margin on it, but like just how much work goes into it versus how much people are willing to pay for things and how like you know, nitpicky people are about pricing and like, I'm like, dude, yeah. this guy's building something from scratch. If making 10, 20 percent, that's like barely. <laughs> like, right. You know? right. <laughs> and it's something that's going to help the Monero ecosystem. Yeah. yeah. This, this is not, this is not <laughs> a, uh, a pathway to riches by any <laughs> means, as far as I could tell. I mean, unless, you know, we, we sell whatever uh, thousands and thousands of these things. Uh, but that would be a great thing for Monero. Right. Um, yeah. I mean, there's there's a there's a longer term vision, right? If we if we could get a lot of people buying them, they become the freedom box, and then uh, running running different softwares on them. But yeah, right now we're just concentrating on simple plug and play Monero node. Uh, but it, we'll get there. We'll get there, and we'll have yeah, we'll have Abdul on probably next week to give everybody the rundown. Well, I'll I'll definitely be tuned in for that. I don't want to give too much too much. Oh, but I'm so yeah, if anybody <laughs> wants to, you know, thinking like you want to help the efforts and help see it come to fruition, the best thing you can do is just pre-order one. And oh, like are you pricing? Like, oh, go ahead. Are you? Are you I know. Are, are you pricing them in XMR or USD natively? We have them priced in USD, and we accept. You know, people are paying. Ah, okay. Monero. So we've we've taken a hit with that, right? Because everybody's paid in Monero, and now the price oh. of Monero has gone down. Uh, but what we said is, you know, if God forbid, whatever we don't, for something happens and we can't produce, you know, we'll return all the Monero in the price in Monero, right? Because we're holding it in Monero. So we made yeah. that on the website. So, so the, the, <laughs> you are taking that risk. But now would be a good time, right? I don't see Monero going that much lower than it is right now. Um, so if you were to pre order one today and pay in Monero, uh, I mean, who knows what's going to happen, but I doubt we'll see much more of a dip in Monero's price. Um, but yeah, that's that. But yeah, it, it helps us a lot when we see the the sales come in, right? Because it just kind of, mm-hmm. and it gives us more capital to work off of. So yeah, Alrighty. that's that. Yeah, you could throw up the uh, the banner. Um, let's let's keep it yeah, moving. Let's move on. Yeah, let's see you. Thanks we'll so much, man. You Dude, you're, are you going to MoneroCon? No, I'm not. So. Unfortunately, I can only do one. One, what? I can only handle one. I don't know how y'all are doing. Y'all are superhuman. I can do just one. Like, I've, I've had my full. I've had my fill. <laughs> yeah. It's, Considering it's it was fun. just a month ago for I know, Monero, I'll you, but I feel but, like we're, we're ready again, right? Yeah, we're, we're ready. Yeah. It's not too bad. It yeah, felt like it was going to be too soon, but I don't know. I guess we're... <laughs> a month and a half is, you know, <laughs> good enough time. <laughs> Monero <laughs> conference world, every, every month and a half. Yeah. I'm surprised it wasn't like the week after Monero Tokyo. Jesus. Yeah. Oof. We're gonna we're gonna try to fix that moving forward. Maybe we'll move ours, or we'll tr- talk to MoneroCon and we can and try both, to figure out both yeah, so move. Like... So we're like maybe closer, like six months apart. Ideally, would be oh, idea. that'd be perfect. Yeah, because then people can try to attend both. Yeah, if possible. But alrighty, all right, buddy. Thank you so much. See you next week. Stick around if you can. Bye. Bye.